So here we are on the trail to Patchouli. It's not always an easy trail. Right now it's pouring down with rain. Uh, we've driven 12 hours to get here. Uh, but in order to guarantee the best quality oils possible, or Acacia travels around the world sourcing direct. And we're in a small farmer's field right now uh, looking at his plot of patchouli. And patchouli is a very interesting crop. It's a perennial, of course. You can keep cutting it. It comes back. And it smells uh, unlike any other oil. Most people know patchouli's uh, been called the hippie oil in the past, but it's a very nice odor. In this field right now, it just smells absolutely divine. After the patchouli is dried, it comes to the still. And uh, Iskandar actually has his own still. That's not typical of all growers. A lot of growers will take them to a separate owner of a still, but he does his own distillation. So the uh, dried patchouli would be loaded into the still here. Um, he has his boiler on the other side that's producing the steam that uh, allows the uh, oil to separate from the plant material. And the oil will rise up through the kettle here as a gas. The gas then flows down to the condenser, which is a big pool of water behind me and then it cools back down into the liquid and then he captures that liquid and produces the patchouli oil. So this is uh, basically the, uh, the end result of all his work. So here we are in Western Sumatra and the reason it's so busy around here is this is the uh, center of the patchouli trade in this region. So these people in front of me these are all uh, both farmers and small scale brokers of patchouli. So uh, they bring in their patchouli. Other smaller patchouli suppliers will bring in their patchouli oil also. And then uh, they will buy here from the smaller farmers. And then they'll trade it up to even bigger brokers. They have some very uh, simple testing equipment here. They basically measure the uh, density of patchouli right away uh, to test whether it's good or bad because patchouli can be adulterated quite easily. <laughs> So here's a bottle of patchouli. It's only going to be stored in this for a short period of time. But uh, very nice color, not too dark. So uh, if patchouli is too dark, that means it has uh, iron in it. Uh, it just means it's made in an iron steel versus a, a stainless steel or aluminum steel. So this was made in a, either a steel or aluminum steel. Very nice color. Everybody looks at this and says, nice color. Really, it all starts right here. They'll uh, cut their patchouli. They'll take it to their small steel. From the still it goes to the marketplace, the marketplace to the final product, and the final product of course is going to be the bottle of patchouli. So from start to finish, uh, and this is where it all starts, right here in the farmer's field, a, a relatively small farm in a, an absolutely beautiful region.